Setting up on a sloped campsite is something most RVers deal with fairly often. So today, we're going to review the steps needed to level a motorhome. Even if you own a different type of RV, like a travel trailer or fifth wheel, some of the things we're going to cover will apply to you too. Plus, we'll be giving away some great prizes that every RVer will want to win. So don't tune out just because your RV doesn't have built-in jacks. Your motorhome's leveling system and controls may be different than ours, but the concepts are the same. Even though we have a computerized, one-touch system, we'll be demonstrating how to level using the manual controls, just in case you don't have an automatic mode. Ours is a four-point system, using one jack in each corner. If your RV has only three jacks, consult your owner's manual for the proper leveling procedure, as it will likely be different. If you have a diesel pusher, make sure the front wheels are perfectly straight. This will ensure that the tires don't damage the bodywork when you dump the airbags. If your manufacturer recommends extending your slide outs before leveling, do it now. Our RV gets leveled before we put the slides out. Turn the ignition key to the accessory position to provide power to the jack system. This illuminates the travel mode light letting us know that the jacks are fully stowed. Pressing the button in the upper left corner of our jack controller turns the system on. If we were to press the button a second time, the computer would take over, dumping the airbags and leveling the RV automatically. But as we mentioned, not everyone has a computerized system, so we're going to level using the manual controls. First, you can see that the right side of the controller has a little diagram depicting the motorhome as seen from above. If there are one or two yellow lights on, that tells you which side or end is low. In this campsite, we can see that our nose is low and the driver's side is low, so both need to be raised. If you have a diesel pusher with air suspension, you'll need to press the dump button to drop the motorhome down off the airbags before you level. This is shown in real time, so you can see how quickly it happens on our motorhome. Wait until you no longer hear air rushing out of the system and the RV has settled all the way down. You might also have noticed that our RV rolls about four or five inches as the airbags dump due to the suspension geometry. As a result, we wait until after dumping and then chalk the wheels. When you're staying in a campsite where the rear of the RV is downhill from the front, it's especially important to chalk the front tires. That's because you'll be jacking up the rear of the RV, taking weight off the only tires that have parking brakes on them. If the campsite is very unlevel, or if the ground is soft, you'll want to use jack pads, also known as leveling blocks which add extra height to the jacks and keep them from sinking in. Since we're on fairly level concrete today, we won't be needing them for this demonstration. Always level side to side first. So press and hold the up arrow on the low side to raise it. Again, that's the side with the yellow light. As soon as the jacks on the driver's side begin to deploy, the red jack extended lights come on indicating that those jacks are no longer stowed. Hold the button down until the yellow light goes out, which indicates that the RV is now level side to side. Both jacks on the driver's side are now extended, and the RV is level side to side. Now, let's level front to rear. Press and hold the up arrow at the low end of the RV. Even though the front driver's side jack is already extended, it won't move any further until the passenger side jack reaches the ground. Then they'll extend in unison until you release the button. Hold the button down until the yellow light goes out, indicating that the coach is now level front to rear. When leveling front to rear, it's not unusual for the side to side level to go out a little bit and you can see that the passenger side is now a little low. Just press the up arrow wherever there's a yellow light, and that will raise that side or end. In this case, we were going to lift the passenger side anyway, because the very last step is to put down the fourth jack. That's right, 
Only three jacks are generally needed to get the motorhome level, so the passenger side rear jack is still up. Since jacks not only level the RV, but provide stability, we always want all four down. Press and hold the passenger side up arrow and the right rear jack will deploy. If the yellow light on the passenger side wasn't lit, we'd only hold the button until we feel the jack press into the ground and just begin to lift the RV. But because the light is telling us that the passenger side is still low, we'll continue to hold the button until the light goes out. The motorhome is now level with all four jacks firmly planted on the ground. Press the off button on the control panel, turn off the ignition, and enjoy your stay. So about that giveaway, if you saw our video last year about our jack pads, you'll know that we really do love them. They're called utility blocks, and we think they're the best leveling pads on the market. We've gotten so much interest and great feedback about them that we're excited to announce we're giving some away in our newest RV Geeks contest. On Sunday, November 16th, 2014, at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, five lucky RV Geeks viewers will each win a complete set of four of these awesome jack pads. That's a retail value of nearly $350 in prizes. And these aren't just for big rigs. They're great for any type of motorhome, fifth wheel, or travel trailer, even if it doesn't have a jack system. So be sure to enter, regardless of what type of RV you drive. Visit our website, thervgeeks.com, to enter for a chance to win. The winners will be announced on thervgeeks.com immediately after the contest, so be sure to enter by November 16th, 2014. And don't forget to subscribe to our video blog while you're there. If you're viewing this video after that date, we'll put a link to utility blocks in the video description so that you can purchase your own set of these great levelers. We're so happy with ours that we made a video all about them last year. You can watch it here or click the link in the video description. And if you enjoy our videos, please be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Best of luck in the contest and thanks for watching.